exciting times. Been looking on the computer. My little inky dinky YouTube, YouTube channel or Rootube channel has um, it is rocketing towards our first one million views. Uh, and so I need to say thank you to you guys for uh, for bearing with us and our funny ways. Um, and I'm just excited really and I'm thinking how can we celebrate this little milestone in the YouTube channel of Waja Crooks? Well, what I'd like to know is what plants mean to you? So, exciting times, um, approaching our first one million views, which compared to some of these kids that are doing YouTube and clocking up a million views per video, I suppose one million views after about eight years of trying is, is not a great deal, but it's a little milestone for me. And so to celebrate that, I wanted you guys to actually help me. I wanted you guys to, to start to tell me and each other, I guess, what plants do for you? What, um, you know, what, what benefits do you get from, from plants and from, and from gardening? And while you're thinking about that, I wanted to show you some of the things that m amaze me uh, about plants. First of all, let me show you this little chap here. This is um, a lantana, uh, which is a lovely kind of Mediterranean or Caribbean plant. You'll see them when you're on holiday. And uh, it's, it's not, not hardy in the UK, it needs to be um, kept in a, in, a, in a greenhouse over the winter. That guy I put in a greenhouse um, up at the school over winter and in January we had a tiny little dead looking twig with just one kind of tiny little green leaf on it and I thought, shall I, shan't I? I kept it, watered it and fed it through the spring and now it's just bursting back into life. Plants have this amazing ability to regenerate. Just when you think all was lost, there's a little spark of life and they come back to life. So that's one of the things I love about plants. Let me show you this one over here. Oh, this is a, a, a Nemesia. Oh, the perfume, we got this by our front door around the other side of the garden. As you walk down the steps towards the front door, that perfume wafts up towards you. And of course, you know that I love my lilies and you've um, seen me sniffing these on more than one occasion. Come on, let, let me show you off my, my lilies to you. We, we get the smell of those lilies wafting in through the house. Just leave the windows open and the wind blows the perfume in. We've got this one here. That's one of the earliest ones to flower. And then this one here is all grown in pots here. And uh, we'll leave them outside all through the winter. Again, you know, if you looked at these pots in the middle of winter, you just see a pot full of compost with some dead stumps in it. But somehow there's life in them than their bulbs and they shoot up again in the spring. There's another one just here. Look at the buds on that boy, huh? Whoa, you're gorgeous. Ah, so there's the perfume. Back over here. Can you see this fellow here? perfumed again but of course it's known as the butterfly bush because it encourages butterflies and that's something else that is becoming increasingly important to us um, when we look at um, how we nurture plants and plant habitats how important they are for our wildlife and butterflies and bees you know we're concerned about the decline of that so I love the fact that as well as get me getting pleasure and my wife getting pleasure from these plants our wildlife get some pleasure as well and we love to do our bit as you as you walk past here my wife's going to zoom down on the floor and um, show you can you work out what that's for it's not for the cats it's for a little spiky creature that comes into our garden even the birds are laughing at me as I'm talking here so we feed that uh, and we give water to the hedgehogs we provide all right mate uh, we um, we provide uh, flowers and habitat for our for our wildlife well I say we do it's the plants that do it Something else I like about uh, gardening is the fact that it's, the scene is constantly changing. So, um, <laughs> it's my wife grabbing her cup of tea. All right, have a tea break, love. That nice? Good. So, the, uh, <laughs> she's, 
the um, the scene is constantly changing. So um, new plants, new varieties, just here. We've got a, a gerbera, um, and up until a few <coughs> years ago, gerberas were really just an indoor indoor plant. Um, but in the last few years, they've they've bred these new hardier varieties of, of gerbera, still a little bit on the tender side. But um, I've got friends um, who've got these, and they've kept them outside through winters here in the UK. Um, for three or four years, no, no problem. And uh, so that's something that we couldn't have considered 10 years ago, but now we're finding new varieties, new strains of plants coming through. So all these things are some of the benefits that I recognize um, uh, as uh, benefits of, uh, and the power, of, the power of plants. And of course you can eat plants, uh, you know, growing your own vegetables and so on. And um, putting things like um, bamboos and uh, and trees in to soak up the water and to um, hold um, hold the soil together and stop erosion. And of course, the big thing is that without plants, frankly, we're dead. That's a big benefit, isn't it? Because plants soak up the carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Where would we be without plants and our gardens? There's some more lilies over there, and of course. You do need a washing line, very, very important. <laughs> um, so there's another benefit of gardens is you can stick a washing line smack bang in the middle of the garden. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> so, look, thank you so much for your support for our, our YouTube channel. Let's get it up to two million by Christmas. Um, but um, <laughs> this, this, this time next year, Rogers. Uh, but um, I would love to hear what you get out of gardening and plants.